Hello Leo, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is new, so please subscribe and hit the bell button. Also like, comment, share. I would appreciate all of that very, very much. Thank you. To those of you who are already my subscribers, thank you so much. I love you all. I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story about superhero twin flames. It's based on my twin flame's life and my, and my life. I've written two books in this series so far. It's called Perception, The Two Yet One, Books One and Two. Uh, if you just hit the black or gray arrow beneath the video, it opens the description box, and you can find links to purchase my books from Amazon. You can also find links in the description box to view trailers that I created for each of my books that give hints to the storyline. I am reading book one aloud live on Facebook to my Facebook friends and followers, and I'm uploading them to YouTube. I've read up to chapter 10, and there are 18 chapters in the book, and so I'm a little more than halfway through. I created a playlist for the chapters that include the link that includes the trailers, so there's a link for that playlist in the description box also. You can also find links to my author's page on Facebook as well as my personal wall, so you can follow me or send me a friend request. Um, you can also find links to Facebook Lives that I did a few years ago where I tell my story, my life story. You can find a link to my friend April's new astrology channel here on YouTube. She's awesome. Check her out. Subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, I am now offering those if you would like to book one. The information to contact me is also in the description box below, as well as the kinds of readings that I am offering. This is a timeless reading. If you are attracted to it, I trust that's when it's right for you. Um, as a reader, major arcana cards for me are messages about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you made before you incarnated here. The plan's goal is to raise the vibration of your soul, the lessons that you learn. Um, raise the vibration of your soul. As a reader, the minor arcana for me are messages about your free will as a being. If a card is upside down, it means that energy is not fully manifested and, de and depending on the position of the card and my intuition, what my guides tell me is what it means. So let's get into it. At the heart of everything here, we have the fully manifested energy of the four of discs. Disc energy is uh, Capricorn, Virgo, and... Uh, <laughs> So that card just went straight down to the earth. <laughs> uh, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy, earth energy. Uh, this is a Capricorn right here. This is um, whenever you see a circle and a dot that indicates the sun, your ruler, Leo, and it also means happiness. This is the elements, all four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. And this, uh, what this indicates is that you have uh, some stability. You're building a very um, firm foundation, a new foundation for your earthly life, for your world here um, on this planet. Um, everything that has to do with your health and your wealth and what brings you happiness and joy. The next energy that we read is the energy that is directly affecting what's at the heart of everything for you right now. So you are mostly concerned with a firm foundation. And the energy that is directly um, feeding this and affecting it is your hopes, hope, healing, all your dreams coming true. This is a major arcana card. So these energies are meant to be. These energies are part of your divine blueprint. I think that you're feeling some hope right now, and you're supposed to be. This may have something to do with an Aquarius. Sometimes these cards, this is the card of Aquarius in the Major Arcana. So for some of you, this is an Aquarius. It could be Aquari an Aquarius that is your hope, that is your dreams, that is your healing. Okay, and if it has nothing to do with an Aquarius, this is just the energy of this. This is the star. The sun is a star, and it's happiness. 
So you're concerned about healing through this stability. And you are also concerned very much about your happiness, as this is the energies that are at the root of everything. You want to be happy, Leo. This is cup energy. This is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio energy. This one has a, a Pisces energy in particular. This is right side up, so this is fully manifested. You are fully thinking about your happiness. This is what you want in life. You're focused on your happiness. You're focused on your hopes and dreams coming true with a solid foundation. Okay? The next energy that we read is the energy that is moving out of your life at this time, and this was um, an unmanifested Prince Charming. You know, it doesn't have, this is a masculine energy, of course, um, but whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This is an offer of love. Someone offering you a cup of love. This could have been a Cancer, it, but it doesn't have to be. Like I said, Cups is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. All nights bring change. And so you were hoping for this offer of love. It never came in or it fizzled out. You know, sometimes this Prince Charming looks too good to be true. Sometimes you're hoping this person will give you a cup of love and then they don't. Sometimes this means that you were offered a cup of love and it didn't work out because it looked too good to be true and it was. The next two energies for me as a reader are future cards. One is usually in a more immediate future, whereas one is um, one that will occur afterwards. They've been switching each other up, so I have to just use my intuition. Sometimes it has to do with which one is fully manifested and which is not. And I see here that you have one of each. This card is fully manifested, whereas this is not. But let's see how it goes. Um, I read down and around in a clockwise motion, and so we use this, we use, we read this one first. Now, I always, uh, you know, this looks pretty daunting right here, this says failure. And I would have crossed that out a long time ago if I hadn't left it, because what I like to tell people whenever you get this card is that I don't believe in failure. I believe in lessons, only lessons. Lessons are what raise the vibration of our soul. Are they not? Okay. This may have something to do with a Taurus. It doesn't have to. Like I said, this is Earth energy. When I said Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This one in particular has a Taurus energy to it. Now, this is watching and waiting. Watching the fruits that you have grown. It's not quite harvest time yet. Okay, and the, this is called failure because... In the writer date, writer wait, one of the most uh, earliest decks, you'll see a person uh, just standing there and looking at the fruits that are growing that are not ripe enough to harvest yet, and they're just standing there. So if you're, this, this could be you just not doing anything, okay? And so the advice comes with this card that you have to uh, continue to be diligent. You have to water your fruits you have to weed them you have to fertilize them sometimes you got to take out the snails and the slugs you have to get down and dirty sometimes so this is um a message to not stand still to keep going so that your harvest will come in this next energy in your future is um the manifesting energy of the crying over spilled milk card okay this isn't fully manifested just yet, so since it is upside down like this and it is a future card, I call this a possibility, okay? Uh-huh, now I understand, okay? So if you do not continue to be diligent with your, with what you want to harvest in the future, you will end up crying over spilled milk, okay? Okay? Now, I mentioned the rider weight a lot. In fact, I've, well, in the rider weight, you'll see a person that's crying over these three cups that have spilled. And they're completely ignoring what they still have. The two of cups. The two of cups is beautiful. The two of cups is love. The two of cups, you know, cups are love. They're emotion. They're intuition. Okay, 
This may have something to do with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to. And up here we have Mars. Now Mars has um, been in Aries and it's it's really uh, doing a number on everybody's masculine energies. So that this may have something to do with that. But I'm really feeling that mostly if you do not continue to uh, tend your garden of life, your earthly garden, if you if you just leave it alone, if you do nothing, you will not have a harvest. And even if you don't have a harvest, though, you must remember to be thankful for what you still have. Okay, so your future card says you may end up doing nothing. This is fully manifested. So the advice is don't do nothing. Do the work so that this doesn't manifest so that this. See what I'm saying? Disappointment because you have nothing to harvest. Now, here's your hope. Ta-da! This is your ruler. Gosh, I love this card so much. I, this, I, I've seen a lot of sun cards and tarot decks, and this is just my absolute favorite. It's so beautiful. You see, like, the rainbows coming out of it and the joyful dancing little fairies there. And, you know, I just, you've got the entire zodiac dancing around this beautiful light. This is your ruler. It is right side up. You're hoping for the happiest of happies. And like I said, see, this is the circle with a dot in the center. There it is again, see? Happiness comes with this new foundation. This is your, your garden that you just planted, okay? This is a good, solid, firm foundation. You have dreams, hopes and dreams that it will bring you happiness. But if you don't do anything with it later on, if you leave your garden alone and let weeds take it over, then you'll be disappointed, okay? So, but the good thing about this card, not only is it your ruler, Leo, but this, whenever this card shows up in a reading, it means that everything here isn't as bad as it looks. Anything negative, such as this card, won't be as bad as it seems, okay? So even if you do forget and end up doing nothing and you are ended up uh, disappointed, it won't be that bad. But still, don't do that. Continue, because if you don't continue to create this foundation strong, this could, if you're building a tower and it's not built on a strong, solid foundation, it will fall over as soon as a, a bolt of lightning hits it, which is the tower card in the Major Arcana. And then you have to start all over again, okay? That would be a tower moment, and then you end up crying over spilled milk. Okay, so your hopes are great. Just keep hoping for complete happiness, because my goodness, look at this, you know? You are really focused on your happiness. You want to be happy, and that's excellent, because you deserve to be happy. Everyone is. Now here, what we have is the manifesting energy of your fortune destiny karma okay this wheel needs to turn and it and it when it does turn it will turn in your favor it hasn't turned just yet because you have to do the work okay oh pardon me okay so if you do the work and you continue to build this tower strong and straight or you continue to uh, weed and cultivate this garden you will have a beautiful harvest Okay, this will turn and this will be your harvest. It will be your good karma coming back to you. It will be your fortune. You may have more fruit than you know what to do with. And so you sell it and you make lots of money. That This is all, you know, just an example, like a, like a metaphor. Okay, but this is definitely meant for you. This is a, a major arcana card. This happiness is part of your divine blueprint. This destiny, this fortune, this fate, this karma is a big part of your divine blueprint, okay? Rising your vibrations of the vibration of your soul, high vibration is happiness, okay? Now, this is your fear card. Now, this is another major arcana card. So, being afraid of learning, this is a scholar 
This is possibly a teacher. This is large institutions, could be big business. It could be that this is a new business that you want to start or did start, but you're afraid of it getting really big and possibly out of your control, or maybe that you've got more stuff that you need to learn in order to run it if it gets really big, or maybe um, joining a large institution, things that are more um, traditional. See this, he's a scholar. In other decks, he's represented by the Pope, and the Pope is the head of the Catholic Church, which is very traditional, very large institution, big business, okay? Also, he's extremely wise. He looks like Merlin or Dumbledore from Harry Potter. He is the wise one. So, yeah, they're showing me that's you right there. You are a big part of this energy. You are a huge part of this hierophant energy. This is scholarly knowledge, deep knowledge learned over time, over much time by the human experience. Okay. Oh, they're showing me this Taurus right here and the connection. See, that's Taurus right there. They're saying you and Taurus. Okay, this is a big honkin' lesson that is part of your divine blueprint. Now, this is your outcome, and here we have Taurus again. This is the manifesting energy of the Prince of Discs. He's your earthly energy, your disc energy, okay? This is about your earthly life. This is about your money. This is about your wealth. He is great determination. He moves along a little bit slowly. Earth energy vibrates the slowest of all. This, this bull doesn't go very fast. It doesn't go as fast as a horse. And these wheels make this chariot look a little bit uh, hard to control. But he doesn't look worried, does he? So there's some heavy Taurus energy in here. There may be a Taurus that you're going to really learn a lot from. Or it's you may have a lot of Taurus in your chart. Or it's just you're going to learn a lot from this Taurus energy. Taurus energy itself has a lot to do with this lesson that you're learning. Okay? And so what is the energy uh, underlying everything? We have a new era for you. A time of judgment. This is it. This is the time to do this. This is more than an ending. This is like a double ending that brings a new beginning. This is the new eon beginning to form, okay? This card itself is judgment in other decks, but this is called the eon because this is, an eon is a, is a, a measure of time, a period of time. It's like the age of Aquarius that we've entered into. This is going to take you into a new age, a new era of your life. You may have to work very hard, Okay? You may have to work through some toxicity, okay? But when you do, you will find clarity. Oh, my goodness. This is interesting, okay? The devil is uh, can be a lot of toxicity. This can be bondage to something that you don't want to be bonded to. But here we've got the Ace of Swords. And it's so interesting to me whenever I see these in a reading together. And here they are on top of one another. This is the sword of Archangel Michael. And he, they're both right side up. Archangel Michael is the one that slays the devil. Does he not? Now this, this sword is green, like the tablets of Thoth, or Thoth. This is wisdom. This, this cuts away the fog so that you receive clarity. This is a new beginning as an ace, and it is also victory. And then this is when your true happiness will begin to manifest. The universe will offer um, a beautiful stability for you, will give you this, uh, is handing you this beautiful cup. And um, you may have to uh, fight through um, just a little bit of something that you can't see. Um, but there will be a new passionate beginning. And oh my goodness, love. Possibly twin flame love. And more victory.
And, and there you are. There you are, Leo. This is victory. This is celebration. This is like, yay, look at Leo. Leo did it. This is fully manifested. You are on the verge of learning some serious, serious truths, Leo. Um, just remember not to just stand still. Okay, so how much control do you have over this situation? I gauged that by the number of major arcana to minor, and it starts off with the star. Here's one. And then we have the sun, two. And we have fortune, three, the wheel of fortune. And then we have four, the hierophant. So four out of ten cards. This is a lot to do with your divine blueprint. You're, this is a major, major part of your life where you are going to learn something major that you planned on learning before you even came here. It has everything to do with your happiness in life. It has everything to do with how you set up the foundation for your happiness. You've got the star and the sun here and the wheel of fortune. These are some of the best luckiest cards to have. What it, Like I said, what is the sun but a star? And you've got them both. This is healing, happiness, dreams come true. This is happiness. This, this is also like destiny. This is karma. This is dreams come true. Okay? And then the wisdom that comes from all of this. This is one of the most excellent readings for you I've ever done, Leo. This is beautiful. All right, that's what I have for you at this time. See you next time.